Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I apologize for the way I sound. I have a bit of a cold. Um, but I wanted to share something that I found out today, which really shouldn't be surprising, but uh, yeah. it's uh, Microsoft is at it again. So I did this stream yesterday, and it was good. Um, performance seemed pretty good in the beta. Per performance seemed very good in the beta. Um, but uh, I, I really was kind of fooling myself because I can see a lot better you know, on my 2K screen, then you guys can see when I'm streaming in 1080p. Um, it did smooth out as the flight went on because I had cleared my DL cache, and it did get smoother. There's no question about that. Um, but I still wasn't happy with the performance, and, I, and I'm still not making the connection. And from now on, I, I totally get this, and I won't miss this again. Um, I was looking through the official forums, and somebody mentioned in the beta discussion that they had checked their DLSS file and it had been rolled back. So I just came to check mine and lo and behold, DLSS 2.4.12. So this is the one that they've updated again, uh, downdated, I guess, is a better way to put it, um, for beta users now. So anybody who's in the beta, please be aware that you have to go in and use the LSS swapper and well, I don't need to do that. Uh, use the LSS swapper and restore your 3.5.1 or whatever DLSS file that you are using. So once again, uh, Asobo has downgraded the DLSS file and I have absolutely no doubt that when I load the sim again and fly again, I'm going to get the performance that I expect in uh, sim update 15 beta. I will report back to you guys when that happens. Probably won't be tomorrow, um, unless I feel a whole lot better tomorrow than I do today. But I just wanted to get this out there. Beta testers, use DLSS Swapper. Swap your DLSS file back. Have a good evening, guys.